Alright, so in my last video I compared a bunch of fake fluxes to real fluxes, and one of the ones that I compared was a liquid flux titled Kester 186. So um, what I wanted to do after that was try to find out what it would be like to solder with a real liquid flux, uh, assuming this is fake, which as you'll see in a minute I'm pretty sure it is. So I, I never used liquid flux before and I didn't really have a base idea on what to go off of so I ordered this here real Kester 186 to compare it to so I got this off of Amazon from a company called CML Supply and what they do is they take like bulk Kester 186 and they just repackage it um, in smaller bottles and if I can see here um, read the label They say it's legit, and I'm assuming it's legit since it's on Amazon. Um, but it explains here what exactly they're doing, like right there. Repackaged from genuine Kester soldering flux. Kester is a registered trademark of ITW. And CML Supply is in no way affiliated with ITW Kester. So, I have my little dummy board down here, and I'm going to the two out and then see how they're different right off the bat um, it's pretty obvious they're different so let's have at it okay so I've already showed what it's like to use this eBay knockoff Kester 186 uh, liquid flux so I'm going to just recap and start off with this one so I have two little parts here to try out and I'm going to show you again what it's like to use this stuff. Turn on my exhaust fan and let's clean these two little pads up right here. already a pretty bad experience. <laughs> uh, let me try to clean off this old solder and use some better stuff. So get out my wick. My good wick. And let's clean this up a little bit. Oh, this is already kind of used. Let me cut off the bad. Here we go. I'm sorry if I push the board around. It's kind of one thing I need is an omni vice. Really want an omni vice. Ooh, that's getting hot. Oh, see, push the board around too much. So I'll be using the pad next to that for my authentic Kester 186. See how it sizzles, it's so strange. So I can get that a little bit off right there. Okay, eh, pretty well clean. I think I can use that. It just boils off instantly. It's really, really weird using this stuff. I, I really hope the um, Authentic 186 doesn't do that. I'd be pretty upset if it did. Probably people that know better, just like, yeah, it does, but I don't know better yet, so I'm going to find out. Alright, there we are. It's like gone instantly. Okay. Let's grab my little part here and slap that. 
that on there. Oh. All right, microscope, hold still. already really unpleasant. Just goes away so quick. It's all gummy. And, eh. Come on, stay still. Oh God, go flat. All right. Take two here. I'm gonna get that solder off the pad so it goes flat a little easier. Probably should be using a heat gun for this, but that's no fun. Apply this amazing eBay flux and let's try again. And once again, out of view. Oh my god. Look at that. It's like it's even hard to hold it still because it's just bubbling off so quick. a little easier. <sighs> look at the mess we've made. Alright, I'm going to clean this up and take a look at it. That was way more of a hassle than it needed to be. Please <laughs> don't be like that authentic caster. <laughs> I'm going to have to pick a different pad to put the other part on. Alright. Cleaning it off. Where are my at on the microscope? There we are. today. Uh, it's not cleaning that. I thought this cleaned easy. But so, let me focus in a little better so you can see that Try a little more to clean it. That looks bad. Looks burnt. Try washing it some more. That does not look like it's coming off. Hmm. Well, that's what you get. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, what's that? Yeah, 
Yeah, even down there, they chased my iron right there. Really big of a pain, the bubbling makes it so hard to hold the freaking piece down, the part. <sighs> yeah. Alright, well, hopefully the next uh, authentic Kester 186 does way better than that. Alright, um, you know what, I'm going to try to solder one more with this crap. I'm going to do the one right next to it, and then I'll just, uh, I got a couple other parts I knocked off. Yeah, I'll try to slot that authentic one right there, but I'm going to try one more time on this before I totally just give up on this stuff. Um, I feel like part of that soldering job was my fault. So let's try putting this one right next to it. Uh, by the way, these parts are probably, this probably isn't even where it goes on this board, <laughs> if you didn't figure that out already. Alright, come on. Come on. There we go. Go on in place. So much gunk on my tweezers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Today is not my day for a soldering. <laughs> for sure. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay. I just got done beating uh, the new God of War game. I'm trying to bounce straight to soldering stuff. I'm, I feel like I'm not in the mindset, but I want to do this. <laughs> it's like sticking to the uh, part next to it. Oh, oh man. Alright, I'm going to take what I can get. I think that's could work right there. Come on. Come on, don't be a pain. Don't be a pain. Yeah. Same crap, chase my iron. Try to use more of this. Let's, uh, before I clean up that one, let's hit the other side. Definitely crooked too. Let's see if we can get in there. This stuff is just bad. Bridge to the next one. Great, now it's stuck to that piece. Alright, maybe it's not just me. <laughs> I've totally wrecked that component below it. You know what? Just get it, get that off. Go away. Yeah, it's totally bridged to the component over it. I think I would have to use a heat gun at this point. <laughs> I think that it's, is it like inside the, oh my god, oh that was cool, oh my god, okay, I'm about to give up on this, <laughs> I'm gonna use like the whole bottle just cause it boils off so quick, there, it, they can be happy <laughs> together. <laughs> oh man. Um. All right. I'm not gonna give up that easy. I'm not gonna give up that easy. <laughs> Just. 
I would have to remove so much solder at this point to make this work. And there, Chase Meyer, and again, he didn't see it, it was off camera. What in the world is this right here? Why is it so hard? You just see that boiling off this crate. Oh, the component like lifted straight up. Can you come off? Can you come off so I can solder this? Because you're my way. And I had too big of a tip. Oh, it's like on there. Wow. As you see, we got a mess now. I burnt crap everywhere. Yeah, I'm just. No. No. It's chasing my iron. I. I just no. Okay. You see, it's bad. I'm gonna try the regular stuff now. Okay. I got it cleaned up pretty okay, but <laughs> um, the one on the rise one I did first go around. That's how it ended up. I uh, cleaned it with rubbing alcohol, scrubbed it with a brush to try to make this a little fair because I'm soldering so close to it and I didn't want any residues to mess with this. But here is my first experience with real caster. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I then did the work of trying to wrestle that part in place. Um, hopefully this is a better experience. I'd be really upset if it wasn't. Okay, it boils off just like the other one did. Um, okay. Oh, where am I at? So it does chase the iron. That's not good. Come on. Come on, give me something here. Work with me. Put one more on. Trying to get... Okay, so... There. There's that. You can already see the difference. Um, this doesn't like to boil off as quick. It does. Oh. Here's me just tapping random spots. You can kind of see it burst out with smoke a little bit. I need to. This needs a second round. Um, I got two. Two more spots I could attempt to do this. Uh, let's see here. What else could I do? I could knock off a part here. I'll tell you what. I'm going to use a heat gun to get it off, though. I, can, I think this is one I did before. I'm going to give it a second round on, uh, I don't know, maybe one or both of them. Be back in a second and knock off one of these parts. Okay, so I heat gunned this piece off right here, cleaned it with rubbing alcohol. Um, I'm going to try one more time with this uh, authentic caster and see what it's like. I haven't cleaned it or anything yet, so here we go. Oh, when I say clean it, I mean like pads. Obviously, clean the board. Yeah, there again, it's chasing my iron. I'm starting to wonder if this is like a property of just liquid flux in general. See how it's when I drag down? It's wanting to go down like that, off the pad, like that. This speech is such a hassle. Stay down. 
that's two for two. I mean, it's definitely not what I'm used to. But you can get an end result with a little extra work. I think if you used a pace flux, it'd be a lot easier. And I know pace flux, it won't chase your iron. Alright, um. I'm gonna desolder that same thing again and freaking. This is third time. I'm gonna try this freaking eBay crap. Here we go. Go on with the heat gun. Okay, same two pads, same part, different flux. This is Junko eBay. Yeah, definitely runs off way quicker. Disregard. My poor use of tweezers here it has nothing to do with the flux. Yeah, this blows off way quicker. Um, it also helps if you can actually see what I'm doing. Why do I continue to use an iron when a heat gun will do this better? Why do I keep dragging the crap out of frame? Clean with rubbing alcohol. So you can see how I'm actually cleaning it. I have a little brush here that I can scrub it with to get all the crap off. after doing that. Yeah, there's something on my towel. There it is. I mean, is it not flat? No, it's flat. Alright, so... End result, um, let me pan over here. This stuff boils off really quick. I mean, the other caster kind of does it too. When I say other caster, the authentic caster does it too, but not nearly as bad. Which you can tell these are obviously different. Something's different about these. Um, you can just tell just by looking at it. As for liquid flux in general, um, I don't really care for it. <laughs> you can you can see my frustration when doing this. I, I mean, I was gonna do one shot of this and one shot of the eBay crap, but uh, it's kind of a little early for me to be soldering, and I feel like maybe a lot of those bad joints were my fault being bad this early at it. But I can see the flaws of liquid flux in general. Just the part moves around too much; it doesn't stick. It boils off, and you constantly gotta reapply this crap, or else it'll chase your freaking iron. 
Um, this is obviously better than the, the fake stuff. I mean, it does chase my iron with the authentic, but not nearly as bad. And um, doesn't boil off as bad. This, I mean, he would almost, you see me constantly shooting the part with this stuff to try to keep the uh, solder in place and because um, it boils off. As for cleaning, it's it's liquid. It doesn't really leave it that bad of a residue. It comes off fairly easy. Um, which, head back to the last video on things that don't <laughs> come off easy. But, um, this is barely usable. I mean, <laughs> it boils off so much. And you gotta constantly reapply it. And then the solder joint doesn't look good even after you do it. Um, this, you could use it. I'm not sure why you would want to, though. Uh, maybe there's like a special use that you need liquid flux for. But I would just get paste. It's a lot easier to work with. Um, that's my conclusion on this. And terrorizing my trash board a little more with my mean uh, tests on it. <laughs> um, thanks for watching and uh, if I get another fun idea I'll definitely shoot it on the weekend. <laughs> Thank you.